Hi, this is Lori. This is Peter. And we have a guest reviewer today, my friend Hamilton. Hey, how are you And doing? we're here to, with Heroes Character Rental Service to remove, review the movie. Green Book. Green Book. Yeah. So, uh, Green Book is the story of a Italian driver who drives a black musician through the Deep South in the 1960s, and he uses the book uh, called The Green Book, which was the guide for African Americans at that time of hotels and restaurants that would, they could go eat and stay and things like that, that would accept them. I mean, because, of course, the Jim Crow South, we had whites only and blacks only, only uh, establishments and things going on at that time. So uh, this movie stars Mahershala Ali and Viggo Mortensen, as directed by Peter Farrelly of the There's Something About Mary uh, Bro Farrelly Brothers, if you mm -hmm. guys knew that. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, Linda Cardellini, I'll mention her, because this is the second movie we've seen that she's been in. She was mm -hmm. also in Hunter Killer. Mm -hmm. So what do you guys think? You know, I was going to say, Larry, you mentioned Peter Farrelly. I was really surprised uh -huh. when I saw at the end his name rolled up in the uh -huh. credits. It's, I like Peter Farrelly. Um, this movie I really liked. Uh, it's, it's more... It's, it's, it's not as, it's more conventional, it's, it's, it's not as outrageous. It's, as, yeah, not as, the over-the-top comedy yeah. that I know him to do, but yeah. I'm probably only really familiar with There's Something About Mary. Yeah, so. it, me too, exactly. Mm -hmm. So, like, I love that film. But no, this is a this is just a great film. It, I, I thought it was a great, uh, like, road picture story mm -hmm. uh, with two characters, and they did a really good job developing the characters. I, I really liked it. Kind of a buddy film, basically. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I went to see it with another friend, and we, we just were laughing the okay. whole time. So. Okay. Okay. Yeah. How about you, Gator? You... Well, I wasn't laughing that much <laughs> because, because I'm older than you guys. Yeah. So, right, right. So, um, when they say they were going through the Deep South, now, I've never been to the Deep South. Mm -hmm. um, I've barely been out of California, oh. mm -hmm. so, um, but I did know about such things, and like the Green Book, uh, one of the other things the Green Book will tell you about is what towns not to go in right. after oh. dark, because oh, they right. had a, a law called the Sundown Law, yeah. Right? Yeah. and the Sundown Law had to deal with, if you were black, you couldn't be caught outside after sundown. Right. Yeah. See, I didn't know that. I didn't know about that, but it yeah, makes sense, especially after true. lynchings and stuff, would you want to be even out, yeah. <laughs> out after town? Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, but um, again, I, I, I was really glad to hear that you used the term film right. because I thought it was a film. It mm -hmm. was very good, um, although they, they do have some comedic spots in it, it's more. It's no more than you might have with a friend. Mm -hmm. So uh, the movie dealt with a very serious issue. Right. But it, it was a movie that also said, but that serious issue was back then. Right. You know, so, we we have issues now that still need to be taken care of. But that I thought that that movie dealt with uh, the issue of racism in the Deep South. Um, as it was back in the 60s, mm -hmm. and I thought it was a very, very good film. Okay, right. well, right. I have a different opinion from both of you guys yeah. about this movie, which is what's great about that, being able to do something like this. I thought the movie, I thought this is a feel good movie, and it's an enjoyable movie. I don't, I don't want to give it, you know, the impression that I didn't enjoy it, but it's a feel good movie. I thought it was this year's Hidden Figures, but I thought Hidden Figures was a better movie just because this movie was kind of, we've kind of seen this story told before. Uh, I felt it paid more, it was through the lens of the white perspective again. You know, it was mainly about the driver. I wanted, you know, I thought it should have been more balanced about the life of the musician as well and his struggles. But, and, you know, you saw the family life of the driver, his work life, his work background. You, they only told you about it from the musician's perspective. So I thought it, it kind of just weighed heavily on the driver's side. And so, I, and like I said, we've seen movies from the white perspective a lot. And now that we have more black directors and writers getting things made and we're seeing um, that, hearing that voice, uh, I just think it would have been more interesting I, you know, like I said, we've heard this voice before, so it wasn't anything new to me. Right. Well, I should also mention you guys. The the friend I went with, she mm -hmm. she had no idea. She's, you mm -hmm. know, like 
20, almost 30. Okay. She had no idea that these sort of things went on okay. in the South. She didn't know about the Green Book. I didn't really know about the Green Book either. Yeah. So I, I agree, Laurie. Yeah. I was kind of going into it like I hope this isn't just like cookie cutter, kind of like typical, you know, film about race in the South mm -hmm. in, in the 50s and 60s. But I liked it because I I, I really related to the characters. Mm -hmm. Like they showed mm -hmm. the flaws of both men. Yeah, that's true. And um, at the same time, they were very human to me. And I yeah, like, yeah. you know, very relatable. And then I like the way, even though the main character, uh, Viggo Mortensen's character, I like the way he, he had his issues and stuff. He, yeah. he showed that he had more uh, tolerance in certain areas mm -hmm. than, than most people at that time probably mm -hmm. had for, for people who were different. So, mm -hmm. I mean, you know, like I, I like the way they kind of, it wasn't a it was it, it was a feel good movie, but um, it it dealt with the the issues that it, that the director dealt with, you know, in a in a tactful way, and mm -hmm. at the same time, it was entertaining. Like but like like uh, without giving anything away. I mean, there's there's a scene when they're in the car and they're and they're talking about fried chicken, and, you <laughs> oh, know, yeah. yeah. And it's like I've had those kind of interactions oh, okay. with people myself, okay. where it's yeah. like, oh, you're you don't like this, so you're. That, you're not black enough, you know, and I thought, yeah, that, yeah. Was, See, I thought okay. that was interesting. Yeah. But I, yeah, I'm glad they approached that, but for me, I was like, oh, they could even talk about that more to me. Yeah, but, you know, yeah, but, I mean, I, I just think that it, at the end of the day, I went into it thinking, I'll, I'll probably enjoy this, but I enjoyed it more than I, than I than expected. expected. And, and yeah, and I mean, like, and that's I think why you, we go to the yeah, movies, yeah. I think. I think you bring up an interesting point. You went with somebody who had no idea about the Green Book. I only learned about the Green Book maybe a year or two ago. Mm -hmm. I didn't know if there was something in existence mm -hmm. within the last year. But I did know about, you know, the South and how it used to be. But it's So this movie is good, could be valuable to somebody younger who had has no idea mm -hmm. about, you know, for why, whatever reason the younger generation is not being educated on this stuff. So mm -hmm. you had any more thoughts about this, Peter? Well, yeah. Um... Uh, there was something that both both of you guys said where mm -hmm. I took a different look at it. Mm -hmm. Like um, in in the beginning, like you were saying, you know, uh, the life of uh, of Tony Lip. Okay. You know, which is uh, Viggo Mortensen's character. Exactly. Um, and then Don Shelley is. How do you pronounce Don Shirley? Don Shirley. Don Shirley. Shirley Ali, who yeah. Uh, yeah. he plays. Yeah. A, yeah, he's a very educated uh, musician. Jazz. Oh, well, not just a jazz piano. He does he's classical, a, actually. Yeah, he classical. actually does classical. Yeah, That's yeah. how he was trained. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But now, I thought Tony's character took some of his way he would handle things mm -hmm. from his relatives. Okay. And then later he was like, "I don't care." Yeah. This is okay. a job. Mm -hmm. And then um, when uh, um, when uh, Don, Don Shirley was saying, oh, you only want to do this? And he goes, well, yeah. Yeah. But here's how this works. Mm -hmm. And then it was, he, and then he told him more or less about himself. Now, see, you, and, but what was really kind of uh, refreshing mm -hmm. is that here, the white or the Italian guy, but we'll just say the white guy is telling the black guy, "Look, you're from up high. You don't struggle like I do." Okay. Yeah. And then, yeah, yeah that, and is then, a, that was a different take. I didn't think. Yeah, about that. that was that was such. It's like, wow. Mm -hmm. And it became, yes, there's a race class, but there's also a a, a, a financial a social, and yeah, a social, social class. class. Yeah. Right. And, exactly. You're up here, and I'm down here. Mm -hmm. Where, where we're going now? We switch roles, mm -hmm. oh. and now we both have to decide what's going on mm -hmm. and how to handle this. Mm -hmm. You know, and here's some of the things I'm going to introduce you to that you need to know, and here's some of the things you're introducing me to that okay. I need to know. Mm -hmm. And I See, think yeah. at the end, mm -hmm. when they when they come, when they all kind of come together and they start learning certain things about each other and have learned things or, and are now acting on what they had learned, mm -hmm. that um, it really opened everyone's eyes and it was uh, a very heartfelt movie. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. you, know, so you know, I hadn't thought about it from that perspective. Yeah, that the, the, their social class levels were completely different. That's flipping mm -hmm. the switch on that. So something I, it might be good for me to go back and watch the movie with that in mind, mm -hmm. and maybe I can see something. And I have to admit, I went in. I had got, had a stressful, dramatic phone call just before going into this movie. <laughs> that you know, so my head wasn't quite in it until I had, it took me a, a while to forget about the phone call and concentrate on the movie. Mm -hmm. I do want to ask you guys about the Italians how they're characterized, because I thought they were a little cartoonish, more of a caricature rather than, and maybe because I've watched too much Sopranos, yeah. <laughs> so and that they who was able to like make people feel real and stuff like that, even though they had their, their... I, I definitely took it like if, the, if this movie was just about mm -hmm. the, the neighborhood this guy lived in, it wouldn't have been as interesting to okay. me. I mean, yeah, like, I, I agree, like, the, you get this sense of, like, they, they give you a little glimpse of his mm -hmm. life in New York in the, in the early 60s, um, nothing special, but, I mean, but it does kind of set the mood, and it, and it, and it makes you feel like, wow, okay, this, you know, you, you get a sense of who this person is, and at yeah, the same yeah. time, um, it does set the mood for the rest of the film, I thought, by, by them showing that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, anybody who hasn't seen the movie yet, um, or if you have and you're going to go back and look at it again, or if you think about it, in the beginning, there is a part or issue with the hat. That's a, it's not about the hat, but watch that. And, oh, you know, and, yeah. And see, see there, that could have been on. a critical point, because like I said, that's when I, I didn't really... Yeah. Captain, that's really right in the beginning, mm -hmm. and I missed a lot of what was going mm -hmm. on because, like I said, my head was not in yeah. watching a movie at that point. So. And now mm -hmm. one other thing with me, and uh, I'm just going to blame it on my age, is mm -hmm. that um, whenever movies say we're doing a black and white issue, mm -hmm. um, I go in there almost with a militant type of attitude, mm -hmm. and. Uh, and after I see something like that, um, I don't like the people on the other side. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here, it, I think I think the movie and the director did show um, these are all humans, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and every human has their frailties. Every human has their 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 good points. And these are frailties and good points that are just born. You're just born because you're a human. Mm -hmm. Not your color, not your race. Right, right. You're just born and you have these. That's who you are, basically. That's who you are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then comes what your education brings you. Mm -hmm. And what your lack of education brings mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. And then there is a, a street education right. that we get different among type of our, fa our families. Mm -hmm. right. There's a book education. Mm -hmm. There is there is a uh, art education, mm -hmm. there is a family education, mm -hmm. and sometimes you act differently around family mm -hmm. than you mm -hmm. do friends. Yeah. And then, like in this case, once they got on the road, there was some hey, you know, and it was kind of like we have to bring everybody to center. Mm -hmm. You know, can't be too much over here, can't be too much over there. Let's get let's get in the center, and then once we get in the center, we're just so much better, mm -hmm. you know. And it's a thing of now I'm going to help you, you're going to help me, and it's without saying, "Hey, come over here, let me help you with that." Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's they just do it, and then you know somebody gets angry. Why did you do that? You didn't have to. Like, That's because of, no, it's because no, it's because of this. Mm -hmm. And if it is because of what you said. Yes, and here's why. And you're like, wow. Mm -hmm. So I came out of this movie, just I just love the movie. Okay. I love the characters, and I wasn't mad at anybody. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, I definitely recommend this film. I give it like mm -hmm. the thumbs up. I'd say that okay. yeah, like this film you'll enjoy it if you see it with your family or friends. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I liked the movie. I didn't love it. I did come out thinking was I had asked the question in my head was was this a white savior movie? <laughs>
Coachella now. Cause, yeah, yeah, like, I mean, like, yeah, I, I can agree. You, I, I don't want to see a film that... that, I, I, that I, I, was, I was it or was it, wasn't it? And, you know, but that's a question you, you, you can answer for yourself. Is this worth sitting in a theater? You want to wait till Netflix? You want to wait till it's on free TV? What do you guys think? You, oh, go ahead. Oh, go ahead. You know what, honestly, that's a good question, Laurie. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's like, you know, I don't want to see a film that just patronizes the audience mm -hmm. about the issue of race in America. <laughs> <laughs> I have to direct you now. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, but if you think about it, it's a film about a white man driving a black man mm -hmm. across the South in the early 60s. And everything that goes along with that. And I mean, it's about, it's really about the character of the two, of the two, uh, main characters mm -hmm. in the film that they're they're essential core character mm -hmm. um, you know like that's what it's really about at least for me that's how I took it mm -hmm. and I think they 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 kind of bypass all the the normal trappings of films okay. in Hollywood that try to you know try, try to play up yeah, yeah and to yeah. try to make okay. you feel good about mm -hmm. Oh, you know, it was like that then, and it's better mm -hmm. now. No, it. it oh, I, see. I think mm -hmm. it was an honest portrayal of okay. people in, in the early '60s, mm -hmm. and and it showed the absurdity of, of, of a lot of the issues of race in this country. Mm -hmm. in a, in a, but oh, it, it wasn't so. heavy-handed. Yeah, it wasn't. Yeah, and I love that. Yeah, okay. I love that because I don't like heavy-handedness because usually you're going to have to either be heavy-handed on one side, exactly. or if it does get to be two sides, then you start to pick a side. Mm -hmm. Here you don't pick a side. You just want it to be okay. Mm -hmm. and exactly. It is. exactly. Okay, well that's Green Book. Well, yeah. you know, did oh. we answer the question? Well, no. <laughs> I think, I mean, it's a holiday movie. It's a good holiday movie. I think, take the family. You know, I think you'll enjoy it for the holidays. Um, yeah. Now, for me, I'm not too sure if it's if it's right for young kids, yeah. But um, uh, I mean, just, just because it is a worthy movie, and they're you know you don't want to just sit through that. You'd rather go see The Grinch. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, I thought it was a good movie. I it's and it's one of those few movies that doesn't have any explosions. That I would say, <laughs> go see it on the big screen. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> True. That's a good okay. point. Yeah. yeah. All right, so we're going to wrap things up then. That's uh, Green Book. Go see it in the theaters. Uh, let us know what you think in the comments. You can ask that. And uh, actually, we got something new on our channel. We have Peter doing his expertise with uh, putting together. We have cosplay on a budget. And oh, we yeah. posted our first video re recently, so you can check that out, uh, how to build costumes with... Uh, just household items, things you can find it at the 99 cent store, just random things, found yeah. items, so uh, check it out. We out? We out. <laughs> cool. Bye. <laughs>